Hi, I'm Kate Hibbert. I'm with the Seekonk Public Library, and I'm here with another video book review for you. It's part of our My Review Monday series, where um, different staff review either a book, a movie, a music CD, something that we think will be of interest to you. Today's pick is Killers of the Flower Moon by David Graham. See the David Graham, excuse me. Um, the subtitle of this is The Osage Murders and the Birth of the FBI. I have to admit this was part of our country's history I knew nothing about. So picture um, Oklahoma Territory in the late 1800s. The Osage Indian tribe has been relocated from their ancestral home on the plains of Kansas to this scrubby territory that um, the government thinks is worth nothing in Oklahoma. Well, as it turns out, this reservation land is oil rich. And so over time, the Osage own the rights to it, and they have to be paid leasing rights and royalties and drilling rights for the oil to be pumped out of the ground. This makes the Osage Indian tribe very, very rich, and unfortunately, it also makes them targets. We're going to fast forward to 1921 and the first officially reported murder of an Osage Indian woman. At this point, the tribe is worth millions. The individual um, registered members of the tribe are worth millions, and from in the period of, say, 1921 till about 1926, it was unofficially known as the Reign of Terror because so many of these wealthy Osage Indians were dying under very mysterious circumstances or sometimes not so mysterious circumstances that were completely covered up by corrupt officials. Um, the author does a fantastic job telling this story. It reads almost as if it's um, fiction. It's true crime, and true crime lovers will really get into this. Um, it covers not only the murders and the um, search for the killers and the police procedurals, but the FBI is brought into it, given it's a federal case. And this is at the beginnings of the FBI. 1924, J. Edgar Hoover has just been appointed as head of the FBI. Um, and he sends Tom White, who is a deputy in Texas, um, to Oklahoma to spear up this investigation. Um, this book has, is a National Book Award finalist, a Best Book of the Year by Wall Street Journal, Time, Entertainment Weekly. I really cannot recommend it enough. Um, you'll be dismayed by what you read in it, but you'll be fascinated um, by a part of history that I would imagine many of us don't know about, the pain and suffering that the Osage tribe went through and actually continue to go through for many years because as the author um, finds through his research, it's a much more um, insidious evil that's perpetrated their ranks than they ever even realized. So my pick for this week is Killers of the Flower Moon, The Osage Murders and the Birth of the FBI by David Graham. Thank you.